Here's how you can improve your mouse aim in Farlight 84. First, you need to consider what type of mouse player you are. Do you play with your wrist or do you use your whole arm? This will determine the sensitivity we will be messing with. Other factors include the size and weight of your mouse, and the features it has such as multiple buttons and DPI settings. If you have a mouse with multiple buttons, this will not matter at this time because there's no mappable keybinds in the game yet. So try to go with something lightweight for now and has a good sensor on it. I personally use the Logitech G305 and I'm a wrist player. Now that we have our mouse situation settled, we can start toying with sensitivities. First, let's set up our mouse's DPI. I highly suggest not playing on a low DPI, but rather a high DPI with a lower in-game sensitivity. This will reduce the input lag for your mouse's movement, making it responsive. The sweet spot for our DPI is going to be 800. You can configure these in your mouse's software. Aiming in this game is based mostly on tracking with occasional flicks. Make sure your aiming sensitivity is slightly lower than your hip fire. This will allow you to focus in on tracking when you're in ADS. Hip fire is also very generous, so keeping the sensitivities close to each other is important. For wrist players, I would suggest playing on a sensitivity of 4 to 5, but no less than 3.5. Arm players should go with 1 or lower depending on how much desk space you have. Don't mess with the advanced settings yet until you found what weapon types you're most comfortable with. Once you've found a sensitivity, go and try it on the firing range on some of the targets. Then go into TDM and try it out on moving opponents with your abilities. Once all that has been dialed in, go forth and slay in BR or hunt, whichever mode you want to go for. So that's my brief overview of mouse sensitivity settings. If you found this helpful, be sure to follow me on TikTok and subscribe to me on YouTube.